You know what? We are very lucky because we have Sanjay Marotra, who is the CEO. Maybe he can set people straight. He's spending $150 billion over the next day, decade because he sees real demand. Okay, so Sanjay, first, it's great to have you on the morning show. Are you feeling that these downgrades that keep happening, are they something that we should pay any attention to whatsoever? I think, Jim, what we have to look at is that the underlying demand for memory and storage continues to increase. We are really excited today to share with everybody that Micron is looking at investing more than $150 billion in R&D and manufacturing in leading edge memory globally. And this is really about three things, Jim. Memory and storage is underlying foundational enabler in everything that is transforming our lives and business today from cloud computing to 5G enabled smartphones to autonomous vehicles and the content of memory and storage continues to increase in these applications. Second, memory is at the leading edge of the semiconductor manufacturing and Micron is leading within that leading edge. We have world's best DRAM and NAND technology and differentiated products in production today. And we have a strong roadmap of technology leadership ahead for 10 years. And that's what is highlighting our confidence for the plans that we announced today. And third, right, I would well, say Sanjay, is that, well, third, Sanjay, I would say, Jim, America, is that, ha, yeah, Certainly, go ahead. I, the third, I would just say is that tremendous opportunity that as we look at uh, expansion of our FAB sites globally, Tremendous opportunity for the U.S. with passage of CHIPS Act and FABS Act to support the U.S. semiconductor industry, which is extremely important for economic growth, national security considerations, as well as driving innovation for America on a global stage. Right, well, Sanjay, it's, I, I, I'd rather see you in Boise than having uh, the capital behind you. And the reason is, is that you've been the one that's most committed to manufacturing. You've not been sitting there waiting for a handout of $52 billion from the government. You have been America's beacon. And yet I find that there are a lot of others who are claiming they're America's beacon. First of all, I want you to reassert yourself as the company that has really done the best of building in America. But second, I see DRAM pricing going down. I see NAND pricing going down. Why should I think that we double down on those when we have so many high performance computing uh, piece uh, high performance computing semis that are needed that you're not making well Jim I think what you have to look at is that memory and storage constitute 30 percent of the semiconductor industry today 20 years ago they were 10 percent of the semiconductor industry and as the demand for memory and storage grows given the data intensive big data workloads this percentage of mix within semiconductor industry will continue to increase so that's one important thing memory and storage is essential for all computing today it's in every piece of computing and Jim while uh, the prices may go up and down and while semiconductor industry will have its cycles what is important to understand is that the trajectory over the cycles is one of revenue increase is one of profitability increase free cash flow generation capability and this is what Micron has demonstrated we have just guided at the end of September that our fiscal year 22 will be a record year with solid profitability as well. Yes, but uh, let's talk about shortages for a second. In the end, you say the supply crunch that the industry is experiencing is already improving, but you're saying the shortages are going to last to 2023. Sanjay, why not go to, uh, sit down with the Commerce Secretary, with Mary Barr, okay, with Jim Farley, and make the plants that we need that would save us billions of dollars in sales that we're missing because we don't have those full-featured chips that you know would change the dynamic and make it so our auto industry is number one again. So, Jim, Micron is number one supplier to the auto industry in memory and storage. We have world's number one market share there, and we are a very strong partner to the automotive industry, just like we are a strong partner to all aspects of technology from cloud to smartphones to PCs, networking, consumer and industrial. And of course, we are working hard to increase the memory production for various end markets. And what is important is that the announcement like today, commitment for long haul will absolutely make sure that investments and increased production capacity avoid the situations like what has occurred over the course of last several months. Therefore, building resiliency of a secure supply chain in America is important, and that's what Micron is committed to doing. And it's important that Congress passes the CHIPS Act and the FABS Act to support the initial grants, 
but also with investment tax credits for the long haul, really support the competitiveness of our industry with global industries, our competitors overseas, where in foreign countries there are already hundreds of billions that are being spent by between public and private enterprises in shoring up semiconductor manufacturing. We need to bring some of this uh, leading edge memory manufacturing to the U.S.